Hello, happy Saturday. I thought I would do a little weekend vlog, kind of get used to vlogging on the weekends through the month of December. Um, today is grocery shopping day and kind of getting my house in order. I think I'm also going to pull down, or this weekend at least, I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow, start pulling down the Christmas decorations and stuff. Um, I don't think we'll do our tree until probably next week sometime. Um, but I may get the tree and stuff out and all that, but at least I'll get the decorations down and I'm not even sure where they're at. I don't, I knew before like exactly what shelf they were at in my old house, but I'm not sure where they were put in the garage at this new house. Um, I have a coffee here. It is just an Americano with heavy cream and sugar-free vanilla. And it smells amazing. I've been fasting today. Um, it, I will talk about Thanksgiving on Monday because I have a, a lot to, well not a lot to talk about but just you know what how it went and everything and I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera but I'll talk about my puffy swollen rash face <laughs> also on Monday because it goes along with my Thanksgiving stories. Uh, so I will talk more about that on Monday. Uh, today um, I will just show you guys what I'm going to eat and um, also on Monday I'll talk about what my plans are for Vlogmas because I've kind of, um, I kind of finalized some of the things that I'll be doing for the most part, but we'll see. Um, anywho, I haven't had anything to eat yet, so this coffee will be the first thing. It's 11.40, so I've definitely done a 16 hour fast today. I'm not really even hungry, um, but I do plan on eating when I get home after I fill my grocery haul and all of that. Um, Oh, Black Friday sales. So let me know what you guys, if you guys picked anything up on Black Friday. I picked up a few things and they were totally like random, like popped up for me on social media and I gave in type of things. I hope that um, is not too loud, my heater. It is so cold. It's 39 right now. It is so cold outside. Um, what did I get? So this morning <laughs> was one of them. I got a hair straightener. It popped up on my Instagram that it was only $19, normally $109, and I've needed a new hair straightener forever. The one I have now pulls my hair really bad. It's just, it's I've had it for 10 years, I think. <laughs> so, and it's super wide, and I really don't need one that wide. Like, my hairdresser uses a really thin one on my hair, and I, ne I didn't think, I guess I just assumed since I, when I bought the hair straightener, I had super long hair, and I have really thick hair. I guess I always just assumed you need the wider one, but she uses the thin one on mine, and it works just fine. Mm, that's so good. So I got the hair straightener, $19. Such a good, great deal. It's like Le, Le Ange. It's like L apostrophe A-N-G-E. I think that's what it is. And then I got some Jordan Skinny Syrups earlier in the week where they had like a pre-Black Friday sale and everything was 40% off. But now I'm kind of bummed because the black, actual Black Friday sale is up to 50% off, but not off of everything. So I do have a lot of syrups coming in. I think those will actually be here on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. So I will open those um, during my vlog. I have those. Um, what else did I order? I know I did, oh, I got a couple of Amazon things like my um, outdoor pillows that are the Christmasy because I'm gonna change out my fall stuff. Um, I'm gonna do that next week also. And I ordered some outdoor pillows and they were on a Black Friday special. Got a really good deal on them. And oh, perfect keto. So I did order some of the cinnamon toast collagen. I want to get back to doing my collagen for sure. I have noticed such a huge difference not doing it. And um, they had that new flavor, the cinnamon toast flavor. So I picked that up. I was going to pick up the cookies, but one of my plans, just like a sneak peek of <laughs> what I was going to talk to you guys about on Monday. One of my plans for Vlogmas is to do like um, keto holiday treats, you know, and stuff. So instead of buying cookies and all that, I'm going to like experiment with making some keto cookies because it's sure it's much, much cheaper. But I, um, the perfect keto sale is still going on. Like this video is going to post on Monday. That's the last day of the sale. So you'll have all day. I'll post this super early in the morning on Monday. So you have all day to do your perfect keto. If you want to do that sale, you get up to 50% off depending on how many items you buy. So like one item is like 20% off. Um, two items was, um, I think it's like 30% off, then 40% off, then 60% off. So, I mean, 50% off, off of six items. So great deal. 
that'll still be going on when you see this video. So I did take advantage of the perfect keto deal. I've heard amazing things. People have been telling me they bought that cinnamon toast um, when it first came out and they absolutely love it. Um, one person, um, asked like what kind of creamer to use with it I would just use regular half and half because I do understand that because like oh, so many of us use flavored creamers and that is kind of a odd one to kind of pair it with but regular half and half would go perfect in it um, also just throw it in a smoothie which is what I do with my collagen most of the time but I think I will be mixing it up with a cup of coffee so I get it in every single day so I did take advantage of that let me see if there oh books Apple books so I have an iPad and I was getting like notices that, that there's a bunch of Apple um, ebooks that were on sale. So I did pick up some ebooks and um, this weekend I am determined to read. So I will, um, I will link down below or just give you the titles of all the books that I purchased. I think I purchased like four or five books. Some of them are kind of like those, you know, sometimes I need a kind of like no nonsense book to get back into reading again. So like, you know, a super like cute, maybe romancy, like chick flick type book just to like get back into reading. Um, but I did get a couple of suspenseful thrillers, which is my favorite, my absolute favorite. So that's all I have for you right now. Six minutes. Yay. I think I'll be able to do this weekend vlogging. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go to Walmart, finish up my grocery shopping and then go home and eat something no idea what I'm gonna eat I think I might do some like fried ham and eggs that sounds really good hey guys it is 3 30 I still have not eaten yet I went grocery shopping did my video um, cleaned out the refrigerator put everything away and then I decided that I wanted to go to Marshall's um, I was looking for Christmas decor there was hardly anything as far as decor I had seen some stuff a few weeks ago that I really wanted and I should have just gotten it that day. I should have known it was not going to be there. It was a really cute like wooden sign to put on my front porch. It was really tall. So I may have to look and see if I can find something like that on Hobby Lobby and order it. I'm having a monster. This is the ultraviolet, the grape, sugar-free. Um, now my husband also needed a new sweatshirt and a couple new t-shirts. So I got him that. I did find a few things, um, got more of the, um, Nespresso, um, this is the Cafe Ver Verona, Ver Verona, Verona, know, from Starbucks. I'm really liking these. I pick these up every time I go. This was something different I saw. Um, this is Zen Sweet Baking. This is a vanilla bean cake mix. Um, I kind of have a couple of ideas going through my head for Christmas recipes, and I thought this would be... Um, a good base for something I was thinking of. It says keto friendly. It is a little bit higher carb. It's more low carb, I feel like, than keto um, because it is 17 total carbs, four fiber, nine sugar alcohol. So it's four net carbs for one cupcake. But for me, I mean, like I said, I'm always like kind of, you know, just leaning more towards watching my calories and keeping everything low carb and as keto as I can. It uses monk fruit, monk fruit, <laughs> monk fruit. So it's resveratrol monk fruit extract blend almond flour speaking of almond flour ugh, i cannot find it anywhere my costco was out when i went to costco um last week and walmart was out today and i have some macadamia nut flour at home but no almond flour so until i can find some i'm gonna have to like just do recipes that don't call for almond flour right away um i also got I picked up some more of this. I ordered some as part of my Jordan Skinny Syrup order I told you guys about earlier that I ordered, but I love to have this simple syrup around and it's only $3.99 at Marshall's. So I just like to have a backup of that because it's really good in iced drinks um, as a sweetener. Also picked up two of these. I thought these would be really fun for my baking videos for the holiday. It's a really pretty color. This was only $5.99, really sturdy, like really sturdy. And then I got this one. I thought this would be good for any bars or like fudge or anything because I have that on my list to make. Um, so super cute. They are fridge, freezer, and dishwasher and oven safe. So it's um, heavy gauge steel. Um, this one was $5.99 also. But I thought this was super cute. It's a brownie pan, but I think it'd be good for a couple of the recipes I'm looking at. So that's what I got besides a couple t-shirts and a sweatshirt for my husband. But I head home and I have to do the dishes, do some laundry, 
and eventually eat something. I guess this may be just a OMAD day, one meal a day. I don't know, I've been fasting now. I, I well, besides my coffee, um, really I, I had a 16 hour like fast of nothing. <laughs> and then but as far as food, um, I'm going on like almost like 18 hours, <laughs> 19 hours, yeah. Um, so just didn't, I just wanted to like get everything done I needed to get done and then get home and I can change into my comfy clothes and do my housework and all that. And I do not plan on leaving the house at all tomorrow unless my husband needs to go to Home Depot or something. But tomorrow I don't even want to put my contacts in or put my makeup on or anything. I just want to just pull out Christmas decor and just kind of make my plan. That's what I want to do. So I finally ate my first meal around four, four o'clock. I had some fried ham, a couple of eggs, and then a cheesecake bite. And then for dinner, I actually had some sloppy joes from a couple of weeks ago in my freezer. So I went ahead and just heated that up in the microwave, had it on a smart bun that I toasted. Highly recommend toasting the smart buns. It makes them much, much better. So I literally just put them in my toaster. They fit perfectly. Um, but again, I had this in my freezer. I did show how I made this a couple of weeks ago. And then I had a side of broccoli and that was my dinner. Hey guys, it's Sunday. It is like a little bit after three o'clock. I didn't think I was going to go anywhere today. However, that's why I'm like nothing, no makeup, no contacts, no nothing. <laughs> Literally just threw on clothes. I had my pajamas on up until this point. Um, I um, had came up with like a last minute like vlogmas idea. So I have to come to Dollar Tree to get some of those things. Um, so I'm doing that. I have spent the entire day, well part of the day I helped my husband clear out the bedroom because we're putting the flooring in the bedroom today. Um, and then the rest of it I have been sitting down doing all of my vlogmas intro videos, um, my social media thing for vlogmas and then um, working on some other stuff for like some running down my vlogmas ideas and all of that and getting them all sorted out. So that's been my entire day. I've only eaten one thing today and that was around 1130 or so and I made kind of like my, my take on huevos rancheros. I just took two of those Mr. Tortilla uh, tortillas, added some avocado on there, the eggs and some pico de gallo. So good, so good. So pretty much just everything but the beans that you normally put on it. Um, so that's all I've had and I'm not hungry at all dinner tonight I think I'm gonna do that cabbage roll. It's like unstuffed cabbage roll So it's like everything that's in a cabbage roll normally and like a regular like skillet Casserole thingy. I haven't really looked at the recipe too much So I don't really know exactly how you're doing it. But anyway, I think I'm gonna do that for dinner tonight Making the family chicken fried steaks. So as soon as I get home, I'm gonna have to start on all of that plus I have not touched my laundry this weekend and I still need to clean up some things from Thanksgiving get the tables and stuff taken back out to the garage and chairs and all of that so I have a lot to do and I probably as soon as I get home will not be able to sit down until almost bedtime and I have to take my nail polish off or repaint my nails because they look nasty um, so that is going to be the rest of my day. Um, I will show you anything else I have to eat. Um, yeah, so um, you will be seeing all this Dollar Tree stuff and a couple com upcoming videos, so stay tuned for that. For dinner tonight, I made a cabbage roll casserole. This was really good. Um, it was all made just in one pan, which is beautiful. I did record how I made this and it'll be in an upcoming What's For Dinner video probably posted next week. I think I have enough meals to get one posted next week. Um, be sure you check out any um, products I mentioned in this video, the Perfect Keto sale and any other sales that are going on. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.